In this week's video, we're looking at carpal tunnel syndrome and what you can do at home to help treat it. So let's begin with the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome, which often include a pain or ache in your fingers, hands or arm. Also, you can have numbness of the hand or pins and needles, a tingling sensation in this area. You can also have weakness of the thumb and also difficulty gripping. These symptoms often start slowly and they come and go. They're usually worse at night as well. But why do we get carpal tunnel syndrome? Well, the carpal tunnel itself is a narrow passageway on the palm side of your wrist and it's made up of bones and ligaments. The median nerve runs through the carpal tunnel and it's responsible for sensation and movement of your thumb and first three fingers. Now when this nerve is squeezed whilst going through the wrist in the carpal tunnel, well that's when the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome really begin. Now that was a super simplified explanation of it all, but it's good for you to know this before we start looking at treatments. But if you would like more information about carpal tunnel syndrome and why it happens, obviously I'm going to leave loads more information in the description below, so feel free to click it at any point in this video. So tip number one is all about wearing a wrist splint. And I know it's not the easiest of tips because a lot of you may not have a wrist splint at home, but they can be very effective at helping to keep the wrist straight and reduce the pressure on the median nerve that we just discussed. Now you should aim to wear the resting wrist splint at nighttime when you sleep, and you'll need to wear it for at least four weeks before you start to see any results. Now, if you're interested in purchasing one, you can buy one from any pharmacy or online, and it can last a long time, providing you look after them. But please make sure you get the right size and the right one for the correct arm, because they're not interchangeable. Now, moving on to tip number two, it's all about hand exercises. Now, there's a small amount of evidence that these exercises can actually help relieve some of the carpal tunnel symptoms. So, aim to do them two to three times a day, and why not give them a go? Let's run through them. Let's begin with the wrist bend. Rest your elbow on a table with your arm pointing up and wrist straight. Now gently bend your wrist forward at a right angle, hold for five seconds and straighten your wrist. Next, gently bend it backwards and hold for another five seconds. Aim to do 10 repetitions on each hand. Next up, we have the wrist lift. Place your palm on the table and lift the fingers up. Place your other hand across the knuckles at 90 degrees and push down as the bottom hand tries to pull up. You should feel the muscles of your forearms contracting. Repeat this exercise 10 times on each hand. Now it's time for the wrist flex. Keep your arm straight in front with your palm facing down and gently bend your wrist down. Now use the opposite hand to press the stretching hand back towards your body and hold for 15 to 30 seconds. Once you're done, straighten your wrist gently, bend the stretching hand backwards and use the opposite hand to pull the fingers back and repeat 10 times. Okay, we're now past the halfway point Point. So next up we have the finger bend. Start with your fingers held out straight, gently bend the middle joints of your finger down towards your upper palm and hold for 5 seconds. Aim to do 10 repetitions on each hand. Now it's time for the wrist stretch with a weight. So holding a light weight, for example a tin of beans, stretch your arm out in front of you with your palm down. Slowly bend your wrist upwards and then return to the starting position. Aim to do 10 repetitions on each hand and try to gradually increase the weight you hold with time. And the final exercise is the hand squeeze. You will need a small rubber ball for this exercise. All you have to do is squeeze a rubber ball and hold it for five seconds. Aim to do 10 repetitions on each hand. So please do try these exercises to help ease the pain and prevent any future injuries. Also, please leave a comment below letting us know how you get on. I guess what we could do is our own little mini YouTube experiment to see just how effective these exercises really are. Okay, tip number three, you need to cut down or stop doing things that may be causing the carpal tunnel syndrome. Now you may already know what's causing it, but if you don't, think back to yourself. Are you doing things frequently which require you to bend your wrist or grab things firmly? Like using tools, playing a keyboard, playing an instrument. All of these could potentially be a cause. Tip number four is all about paracetamol or ibuprofen for short-term pain relief of carpal tunnel syndrome. But please remember, there's very little evidence that they're gonna treat the cause of carpal tunnel syndrome. This means that it's important that you're not relying on them for long-term use. For short-term pain relief, they can be effective. Also, please remember that with any medication, 
Always read the information leaflet and always speak to your pharmacist first before taking them just so they can make sure that you're safe and suitable to take it. Moving on to tip number five which is once again about pain relief. Remember at the start of the video I said that the symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome tend to be worse at night time. Now if this is the case for yourself, you can do a few things that could provide temporary pain relief. For example, one of them is hanging your arm out of the bed. This is said to help with the pain. Also, moving and shaking your hand when you're in bed, this can also potentially provide temporary pain relief. I really do hope that this video helps you, but please remember that if your symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome are not going away, they're not getting any better, they're getting worse, and if treatments aren't helping, then please make an appointment to speak to your healthcare professional. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, but please remember if you're gonna do the exercises, please leave a comment below and let us know how you get on on our little mini YouTube experiment. It's gonna be really useful for everyone who's watching. And if you have any of your own tips, please leave a comment below too, because I'd love to read it, and I'm sure everyone else watching would too. Always remember you're awesome, and I will see you next week. You like that sound effect? It's like a bus. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos.